Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, I'll compare MLED's new Reach RS4 line with the current RS3. The fully redesigned RS4 improves on its predecessor in almost every way. Constructed with a magnesium alloy body and optional protective bumpers, MLED's latest GNSS receiver was designed with durability and repairability in mind. Now boasting a 2 watt dual band radio, the RS4 can now output and receive both 900 MHz and 450 MHz trim talk bands. That, combined with the new all-band GNSS and newly designed antenna, makes the RS4 an even more capable base and rover than its predecessor. Other notable improvements include the new quick-release compatible threads, faster IMU for tilt compensation, and now a made-for-iPhone certification that allows the RS4 simple integration with third-party apps on iOS devices. Moving over to the RS4 Pro, all of the core improvements of the RS4 are identical in the RS4 Pro with the addition of factory calibrated cameras. These cameras allow for augmented reality stakeout as well as visual capture, enabling users to collect points that would be hard to reach, unnecessarily dangerous, or otherwise GNSS denied, like measuring points underneath a deck or awning. Taking a look at some of the major categories side by side with the RS3, it is apparent that Inlet has taken a step forward in almost every category. The RS3's flexibility as a rover that is capable of receiving corrections from a 450 MHz trim talk radio has been taken to the next step in the RS4 by enabling the output of those trim talk corrections to more seamlessly update and integrate into your existing equipment as either a base or rover. Sticking with the radios, boosting the power from 0.1 watt in the RS3 to the 2 watt radio of the RS4 should yield a more stable and longer range correction stream. We will be testing this head to head in a later video. The faster Gen 2 IMU will speed up the time from boot up to measurements with the RS4. The already impressive performance of the RS3 will truly feel next gen in the RS4 with the addition of the L5 satellite band boosting its positioning stability under thick canopy. And finally, the RS4 Pro makes no compromises with the addition of augmented reality and accurate visual capture sensors. So which receiver best fits your needs? Starting with the tried and true RS3, it is a perfect option for drone service providers in need of a base station to enable RTK inspection work or to serve double duty as a base for your drone and a network rover or base and rover pair for marking ground control points. The RS3 still outperforms the competition in its price range and is an excellent choice if your work is in generally favorable GNSS conditions. The RS4 is for everyone else. The unit rivals the tech of the longtime industry leaders, most capable receivers, still at a small fraction of the cost. Not only is the hardware much improved from last generation, but with MFI certification, integration into third party apps like ArcGIS field maps will be easy no matter the operating system of your data collector. The RS4 Pro is MLED's flagship GNSS receiver, for those who make no compromises. The calibrated cameras of the RS4 Pro and the capability of the rest of the hardware puts it in direct competition with other industry-leading receivers, yet still coming in under $5,000. With the same ease of use MLED users have come to love, the advancement in MLED's new lineup of receivers provides for an even more efficient tool across a wider range of applications. Head over to e38surveysolutions.com to order your MLID today, or contact us if you'd like to discuss the right GNSS solution for you. This has been Patrick with the E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.